we don't have the same interest. We are privileged to be in uh, a member of our community. It's also for Nana Okon Chiang. He's doing well. So let's put a hand and clap for this eminence. These services, we just come to show our solidarity to the faith who has lost the long term. Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, again, he died on the 9th of April 2021, and today he laid down the burial. And we are just uh, showing some dead wherever the ways of which have been, but because of the COVID uh, situation, we are going to be here and we are going to
like a river. again to give us a five minutes or ten minutes a word of encouragement so that we all can uh, live upon that word because every gathering we need to be connected to the, our, our lord so i'm inviting his eminence archbishop dr evangelo nana upon chiang to come and just minister to us just a word of encouragement put your hand together God bless you. Thank you, Your Eminence. It's been a very emotional time for us, for the nation, especially at a time such as this where things that we thought should be normal are still, we're still uncertain how things will move on and how things will unfold in the next coming weeks and months. But one thing we know for certain that we have a faith and it's our faith that transcends all the challenges that we encounter in life. And that's something that reflected in greatly embodied with uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip's life. We know he was a man who had the faith in the Lord, he was a committed Christian, and there's many testimonies to show that he was really engaged in the Word of God and really embraced his Christian identity. And it's a life, as we look at Prince Philip, we all need to look at that life and try and copy that example. And the Apostle Paul says, imitate me just as I imitate our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And when we look at, especially the royal family, the way they conduct themselves, the way they carry themselves, especially Her Majesty the Queen, 
it shows there's such character, such integrity there that we really need to look and exemplify, look for ourselves and try to follow these examples. You know, um, Psalm 27 tells us, and this is a psalm I want to just encourage everyone to embrace at this moment, where we feel sometimes we, there's no way through, there's no light, we know there is light at the end of the tunnel. In fact, we are the light within the tunnel. We need to encourage each other at this time. But I want to read a portion from Psalm 27 as a, as a point of contact and reflection, especially at this time where there seems to be darkness, confusion, there's different emotions taking place in people's lives. We just want to look at Psalm 28 as a foundation for us to be encouraged to move forward. David says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And I believe this time we need to embrace these words that we know the Lord is our light and our salvation. And with him leading the way, we have nothing to fear. Also him being a king, being a royal ancestry having a royal identity and we look at this as a royal time a time of reflection we need to take courage with these words the lord is my light and my salvation the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid when god is on our side there is nothing we should fear with god on our side we can transcend every obstacle every challenge every every adversity with god on our sides we can prevail we can overcome this is the journey in life, before the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, there was hopelessness in the world. Since the coming of Jesus, he put a light in our darkness. He put a window in our wall, and he showed us beyond our limitations. So the fact that Jesus come has changed everything. And as our dear beloved Prince Philip has rested and gone to be with the Lord, we know it's not goodbye, but it's until we meet again. What the, our Lord taught us is that death is not finality, it's just part of a process. And it's part of a journey that we, that we go through in life. And it's a, it's a new chapter, in the same way we've been nine months in our mother's womb, we appear at time in this world. From here, we go to a new dimension, new aspect and realm of existence. And that's what we need to look forward to and encourage ourselves, that this is not the end, this is not a full stop. This is a comma to something greater that we'll experience in, in, in our being and in, in our existence. David continues to say, The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies, my foes, they stumble and fall. Though an army may camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war might may rise against me, in this I will be confident. No matter what situation we encounter, whether it's COVID-19, whether it's another uh, emotional issue and challenge we have. With God, we can navigate and come through everything. And this is what I believe the Word of God teaches us. This is what God teaches us to be encouraged and encourage one another to move forward and to lift our spirits up. This is not just a sorrow, this is a celebration that we're going through of someone, someone's life that impacted the world in so many different ways and different dimensions. So we give them the praise and glory and worship for the life of our monarch and we thank you today and I pray we come in that solidarity and that unity with Queen Elizabeth. God bless you, be peaceful, be encouraged at times such as this and let the Lord be the light and your salvation. God bless you. Let's put our hands together for His Eminence Archbishop Constantine Evangelion. We thank God for Archbishop for the message. Every garden we need a, me a message of encouragement. And uh, because this one is a Ghanaian funeral, uh, celebration, uh, we will go to our, our heavenly language. In summary, then I'm going to say, and then I'm going a Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip. Now, the AGI, the Gina, which is the Ampunamia name. And I said, you know, uh, Ghana president, any Ghana mind, any agent, you know, say, yeah, royalty, you know, two four say to talk to the court for any other for Ghana, you know, and I, you know, you know, you know, you have seen me and then they made this, you know, and you may have the answer, you know, and let me met us, yeah, ma'am, and you pa, oh, my, 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 oh, uh, um, uh, house uh, multimedia uh, 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 u
and the crazy in a cheap betchy, and ye a draw betchy, and no one, and no tea, and I kept a phone, someone in one, then I kept a phone, a kitty, and this young one say, I'm so at me, just I'm super bad. And Kenya Katiano, every reconciliation, the Anya, the Yam Kenya, the Diaban, Apacano, and a Nakusiapia, or Slamine. Yeah, on any chin, yeah, the park I need chin, yeah, almost so. Send me kind and chin, yeah, 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 and I'm assistant here on Nimi Dimache, Reverend Doctor, and Sunyamia Yabua, Yam Yamiba, the ministry, a great ministry, Marisa Rubanu. Microphone make a summing. This microphone came from Peterborough, George and Chukusi, Miami, George, what is from Peterborough, from Peterborough, to bring this. Uh, Microphone, microphone to come from for us to use it. it. So thank God. Uh, the video Jumfo uh, Jumfo crew. Oh ha. And um, Mia and Omega Lab TV team. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. This year, one of na Ujira Hano. The year we have come for you know. Now you back here. Yeah, what? Yeah, mommy, mommy, she is here. Casa. One so be done ha. And so back here, I mean, thank you, Kakra Maya. Now, and now. Na na busa hine hine enso tia se ena mi 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 ame na na koneti ya agbisho doctor agbisho kweti ya edmo kweti ya ofri krofa wa ya this year we krofa 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 this year ena mi wa afasua jeku afasua jeku so ebe ye eba hasi ena chairman of Harindia Ghanians na na mu wasu hasi na na mu Ena asofu adobio oni dia oni mi 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 ya debi ya mene na nam ena yadi shia oni mami shia fi kasa ba ya ena original ya wa ya professional money wami le sumu nam wa ya wa ya act actress no omo agana si professional money sumu wano nam ena ya wa ya ni ya afrika ma adansi akutre Ben Kumhima, when I was here, what FM that we presenter? What was that? What are you? And I'm in your mansion. What are you doing from home? On Sunday, the data. I'm glad I saw you at the room. Eddie, me and me, man, the telephone is in the room. Me and my sister, my own. Eddie, great. I'm going to protect you. You have to. What we need to protect you is a robot. What we need to protect you. At the end of the day, we are celebrating Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Later on, we met, we had the opportunity to meet one of the contestants of Gandhi Bayer, Pasanim. He supplies all the chairs, Pasanim, Freedom Act. And he's a contestant for Landing Bayer. We thank God for uh, his life. And they declare they are all here. So everybody is here. We thank God for everyone. So now, I am going to uh, invite Mami Shiaji Kasa. Obabe can amuse him. Now, yeah, yeah, what yeah. From the front, yeah, try Mami so I try Mami. Well, chairman, now what me I can I mean some kakra. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you. 
and Elizabeth, who has lost her lifetime partner for almost 70, 73 years. We said something about the, the, the biography, but we are waiting for the front of row. Yes. Chief Inspector Abraham and all the team who have been supporting us and those who have been supporting us. Uh, Abner's campaign. He has been one of the people who supported us. So, so join us and see whatever we are doing. It's just we are all celebrating together. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because of a COVID protocol, and if I'm a very good friend, this is also.